Well, howdy everybody. Um, I got a deal that came in the mail today. It's gonna help me out with uh, uh, with my oil changes this spring. I'm going to show you what I've got, or show you what I had, and, and show you what I've got. And uh, this might be a little bit of a process because you can see my sprayers in here. I've been been working on it. I got been working on putting a new tank on it. You can see the new tank there. I've got it all fitted up. I just need to get some iron and uh, get it thrown on so I can't get in anything in the shop to move around. But here I'm going to turn the camera around here for a second and I'm going to show you guys what I've got going on. The problem we've always had with changing oil and whatnot, this is a tote that we got on auction a long time ago. We've been using it for used oil for quite some time. Here's a little funnel deal we've been using to fill it. You know, at the time it worked pretty good, but for whatever reason, it just, it always plugs up and, and you can't see this barrel, how full it is. We've got oil everywhere on top of this because we've always set cans and we've actually built another little drain here for filters um, in this. This tank is actually full. I want to get it out of here. I want to move the iron that's there further to the back and I want to get rid of this mess. As you can see, we kind of got a mess around our used oil from our, all of our little containers to buckets for when this gets full. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what we got. All right, guys. Well, I got it wrestled out of the box. It isn't uh, heavy. It's just awkward to get it lifted up out of the box with one hand trying to film. So um, here it is. It's called the uh, Tote Top Mega Funnel. And uh, is what it is. It's a... Uh, a deal where it's designed to sit on top of a one of them chemical shuttle totes um, one of the square square ones which I will add to the end of this video here uh, when I get it set up and I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like set up but what I'm envisioning I'm envisioning this uh, this grate here to replace a lot of them buckets over on that side because we've got buckets where we've been draining filters in after we take them off the tractors and I think it'd just be great to have a couple buckets set on top of this, on top of this uh, grate, and uh, and to drain the filters, drain the buckets, so everything we try to keep it clean as possible. And anyhow, this is uh, this grate on top is just uh, just a little. I'm guessing it's 16 gauge steel or something, which it don't need to be heavy. So I think this is gonna be good. It's got all them little all them little deals at different heights to keep this uh, grate level so it should help the grate from bowing down if you get a little a few items up there and some heavy oil filters We've got this lip built all the way around it you know so you don't got to worry about oil running off and spilling but overall it's so simple design here guys but yet Took a little time to get that engineered into plastic. I believe the, I might have said before, but the company, it sounds like they're a small time company, um, made some out of steel. And then they decided to go ahead and make some out of, make some out of plastic and try to market them a little bit better. But I think this, uh, this, I seen this and I just thought, man, that's cooler than heck. So I contacted and I got one coming and I told them I'd make a video of them. And, put it up on YouTube and and like I said I just think this is gonna be the cat's meow so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like once it's set up I'll uh, make sure I put a link in the description so you guys can find it but I think this is gonna be a, a really simple simple solution to a problem of doing our own service work here at the farm being able to dump a five gallon bucket in that and not have to worry about it running over that up there on top and that funnel there that I showed they're not quite big enough you get uh, enough oil you end up spilling it all over where this has a big old hole down in the center of it and it should drain really nice so um, I said I'll get it set up here in the next little while and and I'll uh, add that to the end of this well I've uh, we got my tote top mega funnel there I got it shoved back into a temporary location till we get a better spot clean might end up liking it there right next to my oil stuff, but we got to get some other things cleaned up. But as you can see, easily fits uh, three five-gallon buckets back there. I've got a couple filters and a, 
a, a little smaller drain pan that I got dumped on top. Plenty of room yet. As you can see, I already dumped some oil in it. And it's draining down in the hole. Um, real happy with it. Time will tell. I really like this raised edge for the handle. The raised edge here for the handles. I got all the handles sitting on the edge so they don't get down on the on this grate that's oily once you dump the oil on. But um, I was happy with it. Don't have to worry about spilling when you're dumping the buckets. And uh, yeah, so anyhow, if you guys got any questions, just comment down below and I'll answer them. And, and like I said, I'll try to put a, a description in the, or a link in the description on where you can find these at. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.